Hi friends, welcome to a lecture one of lean manufacturing. What is this lean manufacturing? It was originally developed at the Toyota Motor Company, which was then called as a TPS, Toyota Production System. The word lean is used in the sense of thin, having no waste and taking out elements of the production processes that do not add overall value to the finished product. Lean thinking is a lean because it provides a way to do more and more on less and less. Waste can be categorized into a seven types of the waste. This we can call as a team wood and guys you can remember the seven category of waste by this abbreviation which is called as a team wood. Team wood means the transportation, the inventory, the motion, the weighting, overproduction, overprocessing and the defects. When it comes to a transportation, it is an unnecessary movement of the vehicle, the parts or the plant of the machinery. Inventory, storing too much inventory or a component because if we store more, it carries a carrying inventory cost. Motion, movement of a people that adds nothing to the production process. For example, if I am working in an assembly line, there are one assembly station and there is second assembly station and at a particular area my raw materials have been kept okay so if I want to bring this raw material to both the station the station 1 and station 2 there will be a two scenario in scenario 1 the operator will be taking 10 seconds to bring this raw material to a station 1 or station 2 the other could be a scenario where the operator will be taking hardly 5 seconds to bring this raw material from a particular area to the station and station 2. So definitely there could be some distance traveled by both the operators. So I need to optimize my process in such a way that the distance being traveled by this operator needs to be very minimal. Because if it is a minimal then there will be a save of time. Save of time means save of save of time means what? It increase in the production capacity. Okay. So when it's come to a waiting it is an inactivity of people or machinery waiting for an input. Let's assume there are two dependent station unit from one station unit an X product is been produced. This X product is been carried to a second station. The activity which is been done on the second station will be dependent on the output coming from the station one. So if any of there is a bottleneck in station one so the rest of the operator or the activity which has been loaded in station 2 will be halt. It will depend upon the output of the station 1. Hence, we need to think about this waste. How to overcome this waste which is called as a waiting. We need to think on the bottlenecks. What are the bottlenecks at different stations? Okay. When it comes to overproduction, producing more goods than the required. So guys, you must be knowing there are two con concepts which is make to order and make to stop. So usually most of the industry they will follow this concept which is called as make to order not make to stock. Okay. So this can be linked with this kind of overproduction. Overprocessing having additional unnecessary steps in the production process. Defects called or error that needs rework or scrapping. So definitely if there is a defect there are, there are two types of defect. One is a permanent defect the other is the temporary defect. The temporary defect can be reworked by putting the operators or by doing some changes in the rejected components or the goods. Okay. So what is this lean? We adopted this new philosophy. We are in a new economic age. This was the statement which was given by the W. Edward Deming. Lean production also known as a Twitter production system means doing more with less time, less space, less human efforts, less machinery, less metal while giving customer what they want. So guys there are two important books which uh, to understand the lane you should go through these two books which I would recommend from my side which even I do have these books when I was going to the lean in my olden days. So the first book is The Machine That Changed the World by James Womack, Daniel Johns and Daniel Ross and which was published by the Simon and Chester in the 1990s. Second book is The Lean Thinking by James Womack, Daniel Johns published by the Simon and Chester in 1996. Although the lean principles are rooted in the manufacturing, found that they apply universally. So it's not mandatory that the lean manufacturing will be only followed by the production department. No, 
it can be applied in any of the organization irrespective of the product which has been produced by the organization it could be the beverage industry it could be a farm industry it could be the medical device industry it could be the food industry etc when it's so there are two types of economy one is the world economy prior to the 20th century the other is the recent economy which is going in the 21st century so what is this new economy in the new economy nowadays what is happening the companies are much more focusing on the price i mean they are the price driven for example if they want to get a good profit or a good margin they will increase the price so this is the current practice which is going in the current industry i mean the current uh, scenario so you can see the cost plus profit margin becomes the price okay so this price how this is coming there is a cost coming the cost putting due to the raw material i mean the manufacturing cost okay for the one unit and on top of that i am adding the profit margin based on my requirement how much i want the margin whether i want a 20% 30% or 50% this two unit together will become the price okay this accounting department will, will determine the cost based on the principle of cost accounting and the profit margin typical for the industry would be added the price would be passed on to the customer who more often than not paid it yes is it right why customer is going to pay i mean those cost for which he or she is not accountable so definitely we are not supposed to burden the cost to the customer end which is being generated from due to our side i mean it could be due to over production due to the defects any other things okay so this is no longer true the profit equation is now as follows for example the price would be fixed then from that price minus the cost okay will become gives you the profit okay so this is the way how the new trends has been going on so in most industry the price is fixed customers are more powerful than ever before why because nowadays there are several customers okay but to fulfill the demand of the customer there are more competition going into our market for one type of the product there could be 100 of the manufacturer there could be 2000 manufacturer so definitely it's not necessarily that the price coming from all these 2000 manufacturer are same it could be the high it could be the low so definitely they have the wealth of choices this customer do have the power to whom they can approach they can go to the x manufacturer they can go to the y manufacturer it depend upon from where they are going to get the profit out of that okay so in such an environment the only way to improve profit is to reduce the cost the great challenge of this 21st century is not information technology it is a cost reduction can your company continue improve the quality and enlarge the customer choices by reducing the cost you need to answer this statement okay so in a nutshell what i want to say from the flow chart when you see the flow chart so earlier what were happening when there was the company earlier prior to the 20th century there were the old equation which all the company were following all the manufacturer they were following what was the old equation it was a cost plus profit equal to price so based on their profit margin they were tremendously they were increasing price for which the customer was not ready to pay for that particular unit or that product but due to the implementation of the lean manufacturing what this lean manufacturing says that guys or the manufacturer you should revise this old equation you should bring a new equation into picture what is this this means the price minus cost becomes the profit i hope this is clear to all of you and i would recommend you to follow this new equation not the old equation because guys you are one of the customer you could be one of the customer for certain product so you need to put into the shoe of that customer okay so that's the key to the profitability is the cost reduction i hope it's clear now thank you please follow me on the below links to get more detail which is the instagram linkedin and the youtube take care